A 44 year old man bitten by a diamondback rattlesnake says he is lucky to be alive thanks to a new anti venom. But this is not the first time that Samuel Evans has had a scary encounter with a rattler. This is a crazy story. Mike Gonzalez joins us right now in Studio 12A with more on what happened. Mike. Hey, good evening, Mark and good evening. I tell you, this is a crazy story. Dr. Erin O'Connor was surprised when she looked at her notes and she realized that she had treated Samuel Evans for a rattlesnake bite 14 years ago. She says if it wasn't for this new anti-venom, Evans may not be alive to tell this story. Yeah, I think you're gonna be okay. Samuel Evans and Dr. Aaron O'Connor never wanted to meet again. Yeah, me too. Well, at least like this. I can't possibly be that old. Is what <laughs> I, I thought. But no, then I then we talked and we did uh, we did recall that we had met. The initial entry was where this little clot is right here. 14 years ago, Dr. Connor treated Evans for a rattlesnake bite. On Sunday, they met again after Evans was hiking on a trail in the White Tank Mountains west of the valley. There were a bunch of kids up in front of us that saw a snake. So I ran up to make sure, you know, they were going to be safe and got a stick and got to get the snake off the trail and, and the, ended up getting bit in the process. So this big V protein is what allows it to stay in the body. When Dr. Connor realized that Sam was allergic to the old anti-venom, she quickly switched to the newly approved anti-venom called Anavib. Dr. Connor says the biggest difference is how it works in the bloodstream. It lasts longer in the body, so it can bind up the venom for a longer period of time. And what it's what it does essentially is uh, prevent patients from getting delayed bleeding abnormality. The cost of this newest anti-venom is about half the price of the older one, but at twelve hundred bucks a vial, it's still no bargain. Black stuff is and with 30 vials injected because of his latest snake bite, Samuel Evans will have quite a bill. And he also has some advice. Don't play with snakes. <laughs> as for Dr. O'Connor, she says she enjoys Samuel as a patient, but the next time she meets Sam, she hopes it's under different circumstances. Do you give him any advice that you don't want to see him again? Uh, in front of his mother and his girlfriend and his father, I asked him to stop picking up snakes, but we'll see. All right, so we shall see. Samuel Evans doesn't have insurance, so he's going to have quite a bill, but he still says he feels really lucky to be alive. He expects to be out of the hospital by Friday if all goes well, and he'll be back at his welding job as soon as he can. And he did promise me he's going to stay away from snakes, guys. But Man, what, a, what, what a crazy story, huh? I can't <laughs> imagine being bitten twice. No, and, and apparently he's actually been bitten more than that. Just twice he's had to go to the hospital. So... But he said he's not real sure. He said up to five times maybe. So he's a guy that likes oh, to play with snakes. Yeah, he and he has promised the doctor he's not going to do it anymore, guys. And it's crazy that the same doctor. <laughs> yeah, what are the odds? Him. It blows right? my mind. The odds of that, but yes. It's makes meant for a great to be. story. <laughs>